Family medicine in the UK uh, is very well established. We have um, uh, very uh, well developed and regulated uh, training programs which uh, end with uh, trainees taking the uh, membership of the College of Royal College of G GPs uh, exam. We have very formal uh, accreditation processes and it's an extensive uh, training program. We also um, uh, train uh, medical students, uh, what we call undergraduate students in, uh, in general practice. So uh, at our university we have a presence in, uh, in most years of the, the medical course and we teach them uh, basic skills such as uh, communication skills, basic uh, clinical skills that you need in, uh, in family, family medicine. So it's a fairly extensive um, undergraduate and postgraduate program and we uh, end up with uh, uh, I think quite well trained family medicine doctors. Academically um, uh, family medicine has, uh, has developed uh, to an extraordinary uh, level since the 1980s that's all changed and uh, what happened was that there was a realisation that, uh, that family medicine has its own unique set of, uh, of skills uh, that um, are required to, uh, to practice at will. And, what, it, and once we'd recognised that, it became evident that we needed a body of, um, of uh, academic research and teaching to, uh, to underpin those, uh, those skills. So we now have uh, departments of general practice in the UK, which are um, uh, you know, 50 or 60 people plus uh, strong. Uh, they run big programs of uh, of, uh, of, of research and they publish in, uh, in very uh, high impact, uh, impact journals. There have been similar developments in, uh, in countries uh, such as Australia and Canada and, and the US. So I think globally uh, academic uh, family medicine is, uh, is looking very healthy and it's, uh, it's, it's growing at quite a rapid rate. Scenario in India is I think very, uh, very encouraging. I think you can see at a conference uh, uh, like the one that, uh, that I'm attending at the moment, just the incredible uh, enthusiasm for, uh, uh, for developing what is a fairly young discipline here. Um, there are some uh, problems, I think, with uh, uh, family uh, medicine being appropriately recognised and, uh, and accredited, but I can see, uh, as I make various visits to the country over, uh, over a period of time, that's, that that's uh, slowly changing. There are some good uh, um, departments and divisions of, uh, of family medicine uh, here now, and uh, uh, there are some good, uh, good teaching programs uh, emerging and, uh, and some, some promising, uh, some promising uh, research. I think the situation in India is that there is a huge amount of uh, unrealised potential. And uh, I, I think over the, uh, uh, over the coming years, the, the challenge is to, uh, is to um, take that, uh, that potential and start uh, producing um, academic, um, or, uh, academic family medicine uh, doctors, family medicine practitioners, and to build that bo unique body of uh, Indian um, academic family, uh, family medicine evidence that, uh, uh, that is uh, really necessary for a very diverse uh, country such as this. Our university, uh, Edinburgh, places a great store in forming uh, global partnerships. And uh, what we seek in those partnerships is um, uh, a very uh, balanced uh, transfer of, of, uh, of knowledge and, and expertise. Uh, several years ago, we realized that there was a potential to develop uh, a, partner, uh, a partnership in, uh, in family medicine. And the opportunity uh, arose for, for us to partner with, uh, with Christian Medical College, uh, CMC, in, uh, in Valor. Um, when we uh, look for partners in countries such as India, what we look for is, uh, is institutions with, uh, uh, with shared, uh, shared values and aspirations, and that's very much the case, to promote the values of, uh, of uh, family medicine and really to, um, uh, to lead to, uh, to health improvements. Uh, often for the uh, for the poorest and uh, uh, the most deprived uh, sectors of the uh, uh, of the population. So, as I said, when uh, when the opportunity uh, arose to, uh, um, to to partner uh, with uh, with Christian Medical College, we um, 
uh, we took it. it, it um, it's taken uh, several years uh, to, um, uh, to get to where we are now. We've had to develop a, a, a memorandum of understanding and a partnership uh, agreement. But now that we've gone through that difficult process, uh, we're now into a phase where we're uh, running, uh, running programs and recruiting students and that way, uh, that's a very satisfying process. For the Masters of Family, uh, family Medicine, uh, our overarching uh, aim is to improve uh, the quality and, uh, and provision of, uh, of family medicine around the world. I need to emphasise that whilst this is a partnership between uh, Edinburgh and, um, and uh, CMC and also the International Christian Medical Dental Association, uh, which is based in uh, Belor, um, uh, whilst uh, uh, that partnership exists, our brief is to try and uh, uh, develop um, family, family medicine globally. So our students uh, come from um, a whole range of different countries. Our aim in doing so is to develop um, a global community based around uh, family medicine and um, really to, uh, to uh, improve standards in family medicine and I suppose as a, as a byproduct of that to uh, try and convince uh, governments that investment in family medicine is a good idea and it will bring about uh, substantial improvements in healthcare at, at a cost that uh, even governments in developing countries can, uh, uh, can afford. So we want to uh, produce courses of the highest uh, possible standards uh, courses which are relevant in these local contexts and uh, take into account uh, the, the learning needs in the environment of our, uh, of our students.